Hello, everyone. It is the 11th of June, 2022. Welcome to Fiscus Friday. Now, this will be no ordinary Fiscus Friday, if there were ever such a thing. It's a momentous day. It's the day that we've all been waiting for. After countless hours of hard work by the entire team, we are ready to turn a leaf. And that pun is totally intended. Because Fiscus has served its function. It's been a pioneer, breaking in the crypto soil, which was barren of real-world utility. And through that, it's held strong in face of the many, many challenges that we faced. But now it's time to, way, to make way for a giant to grow. As Princess announced last week, Fiscus is being succeeded. We will now be Maranti. And with that, we'll be refreshed from the roots to the highest branches. So what, what is Maranti? What does Maranti mean? It is the name of a type of mahogany that is traditionally used in the Philippines to build their boats. Princess shared with me that Maranti cuts so straight and it is so solid, it is used as the spine of the boat. Every, the entire boat is built around the Maranti. And these boats are used for fishing and exploration. They are, these are the boats of, of, of Princess's people, a, a, a water people. We are all very, very excited and honored that Princess has blessed us to use the Maranti name. RP had a, it, it was originally suggested by RP, and it was, it was, the second he said it, we were both just, we we're just like, oh, I hope, I hope that Princess, um, you know, that, that, that we will be able to use this. Uh, it is just it is just so perfect, and from my very heart, um, I'm very honored to to be able to use this name. Now, in terms of what this means practically speaking, it is not just a brand name change. It represents an entire refresh of everything that we have going on in Fiscus. Uh, Princess in particular has been working very diligently behind the scenes to create an entire new legal apparatus to support Maranti going forward. And so I will be talking a little bit about how that interfaces with some of the legacy stuff that we have going on. But to start off with, the announcement that I, we know many of you have been waiting for. Refunds are going to occur this week. This will be the week that we not only adopt a new name, that we formalize our legal structure, but also that we move forward as a community taking stock of who wishes to move forward with us. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Doni, who is going to talk a little bit about the, the specifics of the refunds. Hello, community. Um, I guess we don't have officially a name yet, but, um, but I suppose that, uh, that's uh, forthcoming. Um, uh, but uh, Crypto Sanity was, was correct. We are going to start the refund process. Um, my target date, our target date is to have a form um, in the uh, in the announcements uh, channel. Um, also, I'll probably put a copy in, in Dony Drop um, for the uh, it's the official refund request form. Um, obviously, some of you uh, know that the uh, the prior form was a uh, litmus test for um, what we uh, what we um, needed information as far as uh, 
what we thought refunds would be and to get a good gauge on that. Um, on Tuesday, I'm not going to give you a time, but, uh, but certainly um, during the day, my time, which is central time, uh, U.S., um, I, we will have a form um, um, for the official uh, refund. Um, please uh, take very uh, take care when 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 filling out this form because uh, not not that it's binding. You can always uh, uh, DM and cancel, but we will be processing these um, um, as we go along. Um, I envision that the form will be open for uh, a week, um, but we will, as we can, uh, process the refunds um, expeditiously. Um, you know, uh, just in our analysis of the refunds and, and how they'll work, um, most of uh, FISC holders, PFISC holders, um, are pretty clean as far as when they got their tokens, they haven't done anything with them. And if they request a refund, those will be easy. Um, uh, obviously, uh, with uh, some of the other um, categories of refunds, those will take a little bit of research on the team's part uh, to process those, but we will, uh, we will do so accordingly. So I do wanna manage your expectations as far as um, you know, when we will transfer um, those funds uh, to you um, and have the process uh, laid out in the announcement along with the form. So we will, uh, we envision that this will take about a week, um, you know, um, but, but uh, as far as the processing goes, but obviously past that, uh, we will continue to process as we, as we go along. Um, I do want, uh, this is not financial advice, but I certainly want you to um, you know, carefully consider um, whether you want a refund or not. We, we've, we are approaching, approaching a new day and there's a lot of positive, uh, positive things that are going on. And certainly uh, uh, Princess will, will, uh, will expound upon that. But, um, but uh, we understand that, you know, financial situations uh, have changed over these last few months. And, and, uh, and so we understand. So um, our, the team's uh, stance is, um, if you want out, well, well no hard feelings, um, you know, and, and, and we don't mind showing you to the door. So um, we will uh, do what we can to, to be as efficient as possible. Now, obviously, my uh, DMs are open and I'll certainly uh, tap into some uh, help from the uh, from our uh, wonderful admins uh, to 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 get this uh, started. But but yes, the process is finally starting and and uh, we are we are certainly happy about uh you know getting this uh getting this started so back to you crypto sandy yeah thank you and i i really want to um express uh gratitude to you doni um the i was anticipating that we would it would take a substantial amount of work in order to process these refunds based off of everything that's going has been going on but doni has been doing a fantastic job of of tracking everything um having having all the lists available and so this uh all the work that he's been putting in over the last few months will make this process go very smoothly um so thank you for that and one thing that i do want to comment on um expanding on what what Tony just said is we really want everyone in the community to to really feel that you're able to make a, um, you know, a, an educated decision on this. So we will be sharing um, all of the information that um, that we have that we, you know, in terms of of wrapping up what has been promised um, when we have it available. Um, and if you have any questions around future directions, then please ask them um, because we really want everyone to to have clarity around whatever decision you might take. Now, on that, um, there have been a lot of questions about uh, what's happening with with three legacy issues. Um, one of those is the accounting. So I was very much hoping 
that I could say that the accounting was completed. However, Phil uh, has informed me that there are still a couple of outstanding items. I do not have any information around what these items are. What I can say is that the uh, anything that would prevent us moving forward has been resolved. And when the second that we do have from our external team who is, is doing the audit, um, the second that that report is available, we will be making it you know uh, available to all of you. The second question that has come up is, what about the off-chain funds? So as Phil has reported, there is approximately $250,000 in off-chain accounts that are going to be transferred onto into our on-chain multisig. This hasn't occurred yet, in large part due to the, the legal restructuring of going into Maranti. So Princess has been making uh, great progress with um, Waller, our, our legal team, in, in getting the, the external structure set up of how it, everything works between the different entities in the Maranti ecosystem. And as soon as uh, that is complete, then we'll be able to initiate the, the transfer of off-chain to on-chain. I use the word initiate very carefully here because we are running into a lot of barriers in terms of, of moving off-chain funds on-chain. And so we can't give an exact uh, date on, on when that will you know, officially go through, but just know that that has been the holdup for the initiation, and uh, you know it will be resolved as as soon as it's able to. And then the very last piece, the very last uh, legacy commitment that has been communicated is around the loan in Georgia, which uh, Phil has has arranged. Uh, this loan is now going through the final uh, pieces. Of working on uh, covenants, um, how how the, the the loan structure is is used from from both sides, and uh, this will be again completed as as soon as possible. Um, as Princess says, the 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 off chain world has a lot of bureaucracy. Um, one thing, one uh, overall comment I want to make about this is that so many of these off-chain systems require a lot of initial setup, and they also require a lot of initial due diligence. And so uh, these delays that we're uh, experiencing, they should mostly be this, this one time, our zero to one um, sort of activities. And once we get over the hump, then we will be able to efficiently uh, ef efficiently process things in the future. So those are the three things that I have in, in my awareness in terms of legacy commitments. Um, once again, if there are any uh, questions around those, then then please, please ask. Um, there is, I do see one question in the AMA. I just want to, to touch on this very quickly around the refunds um, for the people that purchased Fisk at launch. Yes, you will receive refunds. Anyone that purchased Fisk at launch, what you will receive is the, the net value of, of what you um, spent, basically. And so what that means is, let's say that you, you bought at one price, and then you sold at a at a lower price, you would be refunded the difference of those two prices. Uh, if you bought and never sold, then you'll be refunded your entire uh, amount that you bought. So that is how th that uh, that refund will work, and the um, it will be airdropped. So you will not need to apply for a refund. The the uh, the 
the form to get a refund is only for PFISC. Okay, now with that, um, let's move over to Clarissa for a, a brief update on operations. Uh, thank you, Crypto Sanity. Um, just a couple of updates for the community. Um, one um, big one is our knowledge base that we've been working on um, is live. Um, there are a couple of articles there now. Um, I do want to draw the attention of the community to this knowledge base um, because we are, you know, looking for if there are questions out there, you know, about the process. Um, or particular articles that you'd like to see, uh, we invite you to come and submit um, requests for those things. Uh, we do have a review process um, on the back end where we will be reviewing um, some of those requests. If there's content that you feel would be useful for the community, you can also submit it here. Um, I will drop the links um, after the AMA um, for the knowledge base. It's just support at wawea.co right now. Um, I'll drop those links into um, announcements channel um, after the AMA. Um, we are looking to integrate this um, this site with the new uh, Maranti website um, so that there's sort of one one spot for everyone to go um, once that is live. Um, the other update, um, and I can give a brief update on the Finicity. Um, we are still um, working through the process of making sure the environment is secure. Um, but I would like the community to sort of see an example of what sort of reports are, are generated from Finicity. So I will um, post a copy of a Finicity report, asset report with um, some test data um, for the community to view to see what that looks like. Um, and there is some still, uh, still some discussion about, um, you know, with NDAs and that sort of thing, how much um, of this report can be fully shown or what needs to be redacted. Uh, but you will be able to see sort of the full report with the test data um, so you can get an idea of, of what that, that will look like uh, in the future. Um, and that's, that's all I have. Uh, so back to you, Crypto Sanity. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Um, yeah, and and one thing that I would like to say about this is that I have had uh, numerous people contact me asking questions about how the off-chain process works. And this is exactly what Clarissa is putting so much time um, in this knowledge base. Um, but what I, what I want to reiterate here um, very strongly is if you have any uh, potential leads in terms of capital, please email capital at waiwea.co and Princess and, and Clarissa um, will want to, want to be very clear here that you do not need to come forward with a proposal. This is not a, a full application. It, it will begin to start a conversation. Um, at uh, some point in the near future, we will have a knowledge base that that you will be able to show uh, to any any prospective uh, owners that you might be thinking of. Um, but for now, just beginning the conversation, beginning to get some of that information that you you might be looking for, um, you know th that is totally fine. Okay, and. With that, it's it's the big <laughs> the big update here, which is um, with Princess. Hello, fiscalites, or shall we say, Marantalites? Not sure exactly what we're going to be called, but we are making steady, steady progress, and I'm so excited to be joining you um, still from uh, Dubai. Um, the heart and soul of where where we are at here in the in the Middle East, and oh my goodness, as uh, has as th this is this is the part of the world that is trying to be the center of trade and commerce, and the buzz is real. It's tangible. It's 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 palpable. I see it every day. Um, I, I just sitting in the lobby alone of where I'm staying. I hear. I, I counted one day, fourteen different languages. 
um, various uh, presentations of business style and suits and abayas and um, it's just a really um, beautiful um, mixture of what um, uh, a market that can freely move and engage uh, looks like. So um, really, really inspired uh, to be joining you um, today. And also, um, while I'm here, I'm, I find myself chasing the sun to both ends, um, uh, catching everybody from the um, east as they're waking up and um, following the sun as it goes and sets um, in the west uh, and everybody um, back at home in uh, North America. And so um, we've been, you know, I've been pulling some pretty crazy hours to just keep the conversation steadily going. Um, but I'd like to do a full uh, run through of some of the activity that's got us all um, standing and excited and um, starting to shake this boat. Um, so I wanted to start off by saying um, not only are we um, going to be, uh, you know, beginning the refund process, meaning that we're going to get that form out there and um, start the, the official close of the Fiscus um, experience. But um, the way I like to look at it is that this isn't a close. The, the, the seeds were set. The, 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 the functional quality of what we're building from at this point um, has grown into a beautiful tree. And this tree is now ready for us to start making um, the, the vehicles that will guide us toward the horizon of success. And I say that with such deliberateness. Um, I feel it with such spirit. Um, I, I am somebody who goes into dream state and journey state, um, and especially being um, here, um, I've, I've been experiencing that. Um, and um, my, my ancestors have definitely been visiting me with their mischievous voices um, at times, uh, making sure that um, I'm listening to the all the beings in the world and what's needed, listening to all the, the beautiful um, opportunity that reveals itself, but most importantly, um, listening to the soul and the, and the heart of what we're doing. So let me just start from the, from the very top, which is the very external spaces where we reach. Um, not only will we be starting the, this transition, but we're gonna start to really feel it and see it and touch it as a community. So that means that um, we, we do have a logo that will be revealed. Um, that logo has some um, great, uh, meaningful uh, qualities to it, but we're also starting to show that in some of the external documents that we're preparing. Um, many, many, many depths of gratitude to our magnificent shields of uh, Waller Wall Group, or excuse me, Law Group. Um, when I say wall, they, they really are creating a wonderful fortress of um, protection and support as we you know, journey into the, the market. And that's, that's what's something we need right now. Um, so many um, different actors, um, so many um, um, places of liability uh, prevail. And so um, we uh, have the official um, um, entity um, uh, getting created um, as we speak. I'm just really waiting for the the documents at this point. I've, I've submitted everything. We're, we're ready to go with that. Bank accounts are getting set up so that we can move from fiat to on, on-chain crypto, to from crypto to um, off-chain fiat. So that's um, um, looking wonderful and, and exciting, um, making wonderful uh, connections with uh, bankers at um, in multiple regions. Um, and you know, uh, with this um, also means a very, and this is, and this message is really pointed to our um, community members that are also project developers. We have multiple um, agreements out there. Um, these what we call memorandums of understanding um, that we use as our term sheet for the the bridge loan that we've engaged when we were in, under the Fiscus auspices. Well, now uh, with Moranti, we are. Um, looking at those agreements, looking for even more flexible uh, loan terms, um, things that I've been inspired by, by the structures that I've been seeing on my travels here. Um, but um, what this will mean is that, um, you know, we're, we're, we've asked uh, Waller to help us um, kind of re, um, reestablish those agreements, update them. But more importantly, we've also 
guided ourselves towards some clear mandates. No longer can a project just support, you know, just approach us and say, uh, can you fund me? Um, we're really going to have mandates that focus on the global indigenous, of course, but more, you know, uh, resoundingly, because it's the global indigenous that have really helped me to shape an understanding of what we call ESG, environmental, social, and governance uh, work. One of the great things that I've noticed and I have had the privilege of conversations of is uh, people will ask me as somebody who is indigenous and, and is um, nature-minded and spirited that um, we often are missing an important letter of the alphabet, and that's the I. The I for indigenous and the I for impact. Um, this has really come to the forefront for me because I've spent about um, several hours crafting a white paper a white paper of quality, a white paper that's going to tell our story, tell our mission, our vision, our model, and most expressively, share the innovation of what this model and opportunity really belies for everybody uh, who participates at whatever entry point um, they do. And we're creating an understanding that you cannot have the environment, cannot have a sense of uh, social cohesion or governance without really looking at impact. And um, boy, don't the indigenous in the world know this. Um, I was just on the phone earlier today with another leader. I was, um, the spirit really got me. Uh, my emotions were, were deep. Because you know, I, 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 I'm from a community that has uh, less than 50,000 speakers of our language, less than 50,000 holders of our DNA, less than 50,000 people who, um, you know, can, can come together and make um, impact in the, in the world. Um, we've been blocked by dams and infrastructure development and modernization and industrialization that has reduced our ability to go and hunt and gather and fish and um, be in soils and plant rice. Um, and we've been moved and displaced and moved and displaced. And here I am traveling the world, trying to get back home. And what I'm reminded is that this is not unlike the stories that I hear from my brothers, sisters, cousins in other indigenous cultures. And this isn't an ancient story, y'all. This is modern day, very present realities. And if we don't do the good work that we've got to do to support everybody on the globe, then how do you know we can take care of you and your family is my question. And that's what we're aiming to do here is that we're talking about courageous capital that we're, that we're seeking. So we're not just seeking any old capital, you know, not just the old money that's trying to feel good and get through the guilt of colonization and um, destruction, but it's really about courageous capital that sees and hears and feels our mission. And while I'm writing this white paper, I'm actually uh, writing a story. I'm writing the story of what the future can hold. And that future rests with all of us, all of us who are present and putting our attention to these details. And so um, alongside that, you know, um, we're, we're getting into some understandings of what theories are guiding us, what spirit voices are, 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 are we listening to, and um, what has our journey revealed um, in this um, opportunity to uh, bring hope prosperity, and um, demonstrate um, justice and social cohesion in a marketplace that hasn't always involved everybody at the table. So we're moving into a model of business where it's about the many, a model where we won't just have one CEO or one top-down approach, but as I look at the fish in the sea, I look at schools and shoals of fish and dolphins and how they move together and the amount of redundancies that they create to protect themselves from the large predators in the waters. 
And that's what we're going to be doing here in our community. So you, everybody will have an opportunity to participate and be uh, a player, an actor, even if it's participating on the token level, if, it's, if that's what you can do. Um, there's going to be many of you who will do that, creating redundancy. Um, if, if, if you're more engaged in wanting to participate on a committee, our, our, our structure, our, our, our decentralized structure will support that and allow your voice and your creativity and your, your expertise to be seen and validated and supported, uh, both in, 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 in compensation and in um, gratitude. And, um, you know, it's in these moments that we, we get to get, you know, we get to be a little bit closer um, as a community. We get to feel each other's uh, momentum and energy. And that's where I see um, one of my greatest strengths is to provide that level of courage and support to everybody. Um, so um, as I continue to finish this um, document that I fully expect to be published, um, I want the world to really hear that it is, it is a new horizon that we're, we're swimming towards. It is a new um, sun uh, where we get to really feel its warmth and its energy and it really is about um, creating that next generation of, of um, opportunity so we're creating a, a regenerative process of funds it's not just one fund it's a cascade of funds it's not just one project it's a cascade of projects it's not just one group it's a cascade of multiple layers of communities uh, one of the greatest uh, realizations i've had is that one of one of the largest decentralized uh, naturally decentralized communities is the uh, global indigenous um fraught with a lot of uh, uh efforts of uh, 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 col uh colonization to separate but what has really occurred is that we've been able to see each other as one as as the same types of people same types of protocols same types of communities, um, same types of strengths coming forward, creating that redundancy, that truly in an effort towards having the many, we're able to um, quiet the single voices that are destructive. And so, you know, for me, this is an opportunity for us to um, put out the, the, the good ideas that we have and manifest that, that future together. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you. And to that end, um, some of you know from previous conversations that, and, and, and some of you who like to know who you're speaking with or who's speaking with you here, um, have seen that I've, I've been part of publications. Um, I, I'm getting some amazing traction, especially in the world of risk management. So we are, I just sent off um, a wonderful document that I'll be sharing with the community that is about the flow of funds. And so when somebody comes forward with capital assets, what are they, you know, what does that look like? What's that pathway into our system? And um, uh, with, with that kind of attention, um, there's a great deal of validation, a great deal of um, showing and reflecting back to me the brilliance that has kind of really come out of the, the genius of this community, the genius of what we're doing. And if you look at the root of the word genius, it means the nature, the natural. And that, that, that organic uh, reality that we all have put into this is what's taking us to the next level. So let's continue with the the noble effort let's continue with the nobility of what we're, we're what we're about and let me get back into some of the specifics uh we are still in the uae um, under a 40-day period of mourning so lots of different uh, uh, bureaucracies are just slowed and sluggish so um i've been in touch the the investors just as frustrated as i am quite frankly about um, the, the delays, but um, everything is now in the hands of uh, the bureaucrats to finalize. And um, they do have my bank account number. So I know that we are ready for that wire to just um, make itself happen um, through the systems. The, the, the banks are, are, are quite aware of where um, they need to do, direct those funds. So really, we're just any moment now uh, shall be receiving uh, that capital. And in an effort to keep the momentum strong, um, 
I myself and personally want to demonstrate a uh, a sense of accountability and 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 leadership. I'm putting my money where where my mouth is. I'm putting uh, the capital that's at my discretion towards this effort that's outside of uh, everything that uh, we try to hold ourselves accountable to and present to, to the community. So I'll be positioning some capital to get our operations going, to make these strides happen, because ultimately these seeds start somewhere. And um, if it's not on your land, it's probably on mine. And so I'd like to share in that um, you know, opportunity with all of us to get excited, roll up your sleeves, find your place, and see how we can carry on. So we will start to, uh, you start to see some um, activity with regard to, we, we do have a domain that we're going to be engaging. We, we're finding our host and, and developing that home for us. Um, uh, with that, we're going to bridge our communications with uh, wawea.co. Um, um, so the, the efforts that uh, Clarissa and the rest of the Wawea team are, are putting into the knowledge base will be shared across both domains. Um, and we're also going to um, have our new server for our community hosted uh, through our website as well. So that way there's a, a direct point where all of us can go and we can share that with um, our wider networks. And more of this will be coming in, in direct communication as we make these transitions. Um, I'm excited um, because of this, the, the team effort that's gone in to this work. Uh, you'll start to see some new language and we'll get to know each other through that language. And you as a community, I fully expect you to impact that language, to show me your way, just as I'm showing you mine. Um, with the uh, movement to a new uh, community space, we will have access tokens. So that way we can be sure to greet you and invite you in. Just like we're inviting you into a conversation with us in our knowledge base, so that we can understand where the questions lie and where the excitement uh, is derived for new knowledge to be created and shared. We will be reaching out to all project developers to review the projects and make sure that there's a mandate um, in alignment with um, uh, the projects that are out there. We want to touch all industries. Nobody's to be left out. But we also want to make sure that we're stewarding the resources towards that greater future. So no longer will we be supporting projects like, you know, a, a theme park, just because the theme park would be fun. We want to make sure that we're inviting the communities that are around those theme parks in. We want to make sure that we are uh, paying attention to those who came before us before building the next hotel and resort. We want to make sure that when we put up uh, a new infrastructural development, like uh, a new telecom service, we want to make sure we know whose lands we're on when we're doing it. Um, and why? Because we can. Not because we, we're lazy, but because we can. And so that's the, that's the effort going on behind that process. And then lastly, I just want to also share that um, with regard to the capital, I'm actually getting even more attention now, y'all, which is great. Getting attention from the some folks who've been sitting in the you know wings who've got 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, and they're trying to figure out what to do with it. They know they're not getting the returns that they're seeking in some of the traditional pathways and they're seeing what we can do and we're welcoming welcoming them into um, this opportunity first at the community level and then into the uh, the formal documentation level and then ultimately into uh, the financial relationship level and that's most exciting for all of us so there's going to be some surprises just like when we you know uh, fill our gardens with all kinds of beautiful crops for us to eat. We get those most random, beautiful growths of something we weren't expecting, some new opportunity that we weren't able to uh, envision before. Um, you know, when I used to garden, I, I, I would always be surprised when a new uh, zucchini plant would just show up and I didn't plant zucchini that year. It just would happen, right? That's the same kind of thing that's happening with regard to these relationships. And then more importantly, I've been invited personally 
to some very high level engagements. And I fully expect you as a community to look into these and understand them. Um, the Ratosa family has one of the largest global private family office uh, engagements in the world, hosting at least two different investment summits. Um, I was personally invited to attend and was told I will get personal invitations towards those, uh, uh, you know, royal families, uh, sovereign wealth fund, investment managers who've been um, stewarding the coffers of some of the oldest uh, capital in the world. I'll also be um, attending and, and presenting at the Abrahamic Business Circle where we're talking about some of the global religious leaders of our time. That includes the, the uh, Christians, Muslims, and the Jewish, who are all here under a certain agreement and pact, because they all share these borderlines, but also share the vision of peace and prosperity. And uh, with these personal invitations, I'm getting personally introduced to many of those who see the pipeline of opportunity, see the friendliness and the invitation that I'm offering, and let them know we've got all of you to be welcomed by. So don't be surprised if the next time you enter into our community under the Mar Maranti um, uh, you know, invitation, that you might be speaking to a His Highness or Her Highness Perhaps you might be engaging with uh, somebody who's um, touched the, the, the gold of uh, ancient families and civilizations. This is the level of nobility and excitement that I have. And this means we have a lot of opportunities before us. I share this with you because it's part of the travels. It's part of the people that I'm getting to see. And it's also part of the reality uh, that we get to share together. So with that, I'm also, uh, I've applied to be a speaker at the ETH conference in Barcelona, Spain, to help present ourselves to the crypto experience and for them to hear about the innovations that we're doing and to show them how to create real stability and, and longevity and in, in util utilization in what we're doing and that it can be achieved. And now we get to demonstrate that. Um, so with these types of invitations, I'm so encouraged and so um, excited for you to join me in that journey. And I'll be sharing with you um, a lot of the uh, reflections and updates that will come out of that. Um, but in the meantime, let's put our feet forward and let's get excited together. I know I've been a little bit quiet, but I have been busy, rest assured, um, on your behalf and on the behalf of the future of my families. Um, so uh, please, uh, let's continue the excitement. And um, if you have questions, by all means, ask them. I try to pop in once in a while to kind of help answer stuff as directly as I can. Um, but with the um, amazing and courageous leadership of those that have been here on um, speaking with you on uh, this forum and with the moderators and admin who have been helping to keep the, the energy high and focused, uh, we are ready. We're ready for you. To that end, I have also invited some um, exceptional board members to our experience. I want to hold back on exactly who they are because we're still doing the papering of the documentation and getting clear about what these agreements and um, opportunities look like for them because we're pulling them away from the things that they're engaged in. But we are asking them to join us. Um, but real, real, real excitement for these leaders who are showing themselves to our model and wanting to offer up um, their um, linked arms in the work that we're doing. So uh, if you have suggestions of other leaders um, at the board level that you'd like um, us to meet and understand and invite to the table, I am looking for increasing the level of diversity in our community, increasing the level of diversity in thought and action um, and experience with crypto 
um, and experience with um, the, the world around us. So let's continue to, to do the good work. Keep your spirits high. I really appreciate the encouragements, and my encouragements are right back at you. We're doing this together. We're doing it as one under the beautiful Maranti uh, logo, brand, branch. Um, so let's do it. Um, and if you have questions, I'm looking forward to um, engaging in those as time permits. So right back to you, uh, Crypto Sanity. If I've missed anything, I'm sure people will catch up with me, but happy to uh, be present uh, on this wonderful now Saturday morning. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for all that, Princess. And um, yeah, I just really want to, you know, also recognize your, um, you know, vulnerability in in sharing your purpose and what drives you. And I have my own my own story that. Uh, I, I definitely want to share at some point. Um, not now, but what what brought me on this on this path? And and again, um, I feel like everything I've been doing in my life has has been to prepare me for this journey that you are that you are leading us on. And I I very much look forward to to the time when when I personally can step up and, and also bring in so many people that, that I know who are on the journey with us, but don't know of us yet. Um, there's so many leaders in the world who, who are just have spent their, their lives really towards, um, towards this global justice and prosperity. And, and so many of them, have the hearts and and have the minds, but they've they're just missing the mechanism, and that is really what what you have brought. Um, so it's going to be incredible. And on that, one thing that I want to say is is Princess um, alluded to having the white paper published, but what she's talking to me about it's. It really, I think it will be historic. The, 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 the level of, of thinking and synthesis across cultures and across paradigms and, and understanding is, is just incredible. And um, yeah, I do think it will be something that, that future generations will look upon and and be able to say this is the document that that helped that basically was the seed of of that mechanism and that that paradigm of of creation um and so we we really looking forward to to sharing the initial um draft of that um but it will also kick off so much, uh, so much future future work of expanding that thought and that philosophy. Um, and with that, that is that is all the details for this Viscous Friday. Um, but I want to issue a call to everyone. We have talked about some specifics here, but we've also talked about the grandiosity really of what we are aiming to accomplish as we move forward into the marathi community we will be um, facilitating that level of engagement as princess said that doesn't mean that you need to um, have an intense relationship with Maranti to to participate but it does mean that we'll be doing everything in the spirit of serving the whole and we'll be very 
boundaried around our culture and protecting that culture of of what uh what sort of communication is is presented and what sort of relationships are formed and so as you reflect on whether you want to take a refund or whether you want to continue forward i would just say to keep that in mind and i would say that i've had some very interesting conversations where people have been very reactive to that calling and and that's okay it it's it is okay to feel perhaps even overwhelmed by that that purpose um but everyone has that that nature within us as as princess was was saying and so if there's any sorts of of discussions that you want to to have within the community or any sort of things that you wish to privately share then you know please uh do so as part of making your decision about whether to continue or not and um and if you feel that is isn't the right time for you then you know that's okay so with that i'd like to officially end fiscus friday it will be the last fiscus friday and um yeah and we'll see you in the community all right thank you